Welcome to the channel guys, it's your boy Zepo from Select Vision and I'm back again with another video and guys firstly on today's video I want to talk about uh, the death of uh, Diego Maradona very sad news to hear, very devastating news as he was arguably one of the best players in football, the greatest of all time and it's very sad news because he wasn't really that old as well, he was 60 years old which is relatively young so I have a lot of um, fans and supporters from Argentina as well and know what, how he means to that country as well so I hope everyone is coping well with the news so that's what I want to talk about firstly in today's video and yeah guys for this video I'll be doing a q and I was going to be doing this video when I hit 2k subs but I thought I'll do it now and release it earlier since I'm close to 2k it makes sense I thought I'll just do it now and hopefully get a little bit of reaction and hopefully get some subs and stuff like that so yeah guys if you're new make sure you subscribe to the channel comment down below uh, and what you thought about today's video like today's video as well so let's get started guys I'm pumped first time doing this so I have a lot of questions that people ask me on Instagram so I'll go on my phone the first question what is your favorite cartoon that's a tricky one you know because um I used, to lot of, I used to watch a lot of cartoons, especially on um, Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. But I think the cartoon that I watched the most, and probably the most times as well, is definitely um, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> I don't know how many times I watched all them episodes. I probably watched all the episodes more than 50 times. And also watched the movie as well, so I'll probably have to say SpongeBob. But there's other good shouts as well that I could have said. And Another question, what is your favourite food? Mm. That is a tricky one, but the one thing I can say for certain that I could eat any day, every day, a lot of people know already, is probably falafel. I can eat that any day, every day, with anything as well, so I'll just say falafel. Another question, the next question is, have you got a girlfriend? No, nah, mum. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm single, just focus on the life first. That's the, that's the main thing, trying to be set up and, you know, the right one will come. So I don't really want to chase these things. It will eventually happen when the time is right. The right person. <laughs> Another question, are you married? <laughs> oh man, soon come though. Nah, <laughs> it's too early in my opinion. You know, some people, they settle down when they're young, you know, 18 to 20. Some people get married later on in life, but... I think I'm still relatively young, so, you know, hoping within the next few years, we'll see what happens. Another question, how did you get your beard so thick? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I think it's because I started shaving early from young age. Like, clean shaving, and kept, I kept shaving every couple of days. But I guess sometimes it depends on genes as well, so, I don't know, a mixture of genes and of me shaving early beard is annoying because it grows back so quickly people get jealous but they don't see the downsides of it when it grows so quickly that you have to get it shaped up all the time so yeah that's it for these questions first um, group of questions got some more so let's see what they're saying what do you like the most about living in Germany all right so there's many things that I liked about living in Germany but what people need to realize is that each day in Germany has a different vibe. For example, living in Munich will be different to living in like Dortmund or Cologne or Dusseldorf, for example. I was living in that state, North Rhine, so it was really chilled out vibes because since it was bordering uh, Holland as well, in my opinion, the people are more relaxed and chilled out. I was living in a small city or big town in Munster, called Munster. And people are saying it's like the least uh, racist place in Germany as well. So the one thing I liked about Germany was that the way the system is run, you know, everything is on point. Um, it's a very well developed compared to UK, United Kingdom. Like people take things seriously there. And um, yeah, just the way of life is nice. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities for work as well. But even the uh, transport and everything, you know, it really is delayed and if it is delayed they let you know in advance and like 
in the UK, especially when people are going to work and stuff like that, all of a sudden the trains are delayed like all the time. But in Germany, it's not really. It happens a few times, you know. It happened to me a few times, but people don't didn't mind waiting for it. But in the UK, everyone gets angry and stuff like that. But I think I think it's just chilled out the way of life. Obviously, you get racist people everywhere. I mean, you know, in the world, but. Yeah, Germany was a vibe. The one thing I liked the most about Germany, I don't really want to talk about like history and politics too much, but you know, they they learn about the mistakes in the World War, and that's you know how they teach uh, kids in school now. They teach them about the mistakes of the war, but for example, in this country, when we learn about history in school, we never learn about the mistakes of the British Empire. You know, so that's what one thing I like about Germany. So there's many more other things, but I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it all day, so. Alright, let's see the other questions now. Why did you start doing reactions? Alright, so the reasons why I started doing reactions was because, you know, I feel like it's a good way of building your channel and connecting with global audiences and, you know, just reacting on videos that you personally like, for example, doing reactions on sport, music, comedy, movies, entertainment, whatever. So that's why I started doing reactions, you know, to appreciate, you know, different countries and different cultures and stuff like that. <clears throat> the next question, have you ever been to the USA? Yeah, I've only been to the USA once and that was in um, 2018. I went to Vegas for like 11 days. So that's the only time I've been to USA. I went there for my 23rd birthday. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Mm, that's a tough one, you know. That's a tough one. Or well, definitely somewhere somewhere where there's sun and like, like good nature, beaches, mountains. There's chilled out vibes, but it's a tough one. Because the food has to be in point as well and just the way of life, the living. I don't know, probably like Morocco or something. I don't know. <laughs> the last film you watched. You know what? I haven't watched a film in a long time. I don't think I don't think I watched any for like the last one or two years now, so I can't really answer that question. I'm more of a person that would watch documentaries and stuff like that. Al Jazeera documentaries or any documentaries on YouTube, like travel documentaries and stuff like that. I don't really watch movies like that, so I can't remember. Have you ever met someone famous? Yeah, I've met a few famous people. Um, I've met a few famous cricketers. If you guys know what cricket is. <laughs> Some of the people watching this may not know, but... And um, I've met a famous rapper as well. He used to be a big rapper. He still is a big rapper in the UK today. Loki is more of a political rapper, uh, so I met him on the train actually, and I was starstruck because in my in my teens, that's the rapper I was listening to every day. Like I could relate to him the most, and I saw him on the tube, and I was starstruck. Like words weren't coming out of my mouth, and I was speaking to him, like telling him how like he's a big inspiration for me, and like changed my life and stuff like that. And like <laughs> he got happy himself. What is your favorite cuisine? Favorite cuisine? I'll probably be. I'll probably say. Um, I don't know, like Lebanese or something like that. But I have a range of you know favorite cuisines like Persian, Pakistani, Italian, Mexican. They're all nice. So, but I'll probably just have to say Lebanese to be honest. Are you an early bird or more like a night owl? It depends though because. Um, Depends. I, I would say I'm more of a night owl because I prefer doing things at night. I love getting things done at night and then if I go to sleep at like 3 or 4 a.m. As long as you get like 6, 7 hours sleep, I'll just wake up at like 10 or 11, that's fine. But it depends though if I'm working, if I have a shift in the morning, then I'll just obviously have to do stuff in the morning. But everyone has different preferences. I don't mind both. A lot of people, they struggle to adapt to different timings and stuff. I think I'm pretty flexible to be honest. Do you like cats or dogs? 
Well, I'll say a cat because I've never had a dog before and I love cats, so I'll say I'm more of a cat person. I've got a Persian cat at home, so... Another one, summer or winter. That's another tough one, you know, because people will be like, what, you're crazy? You should be saying summer, but the one thing I like about winter sometimes is just, I love wearing hoodies and jumpers and jackets. Like winter clothes are the best. Like you can't beat them. It's not the same just wearing shirts and uh, shirt and uh, shorts and stuff like that. But I love the snow as well. But sometimes in winter, when it, especially in the UK, when it just rains every day, it's d depressing. I don't mind snow once in a while, but I will say more summer. But I'm open to both. I pro summer obviously, I want you want that more often in the year. But I don't mind winter for like. A few days, a few weeks. Mutual celebrity, celebrity crush. <laughs> oh man, this is a funny story. I'll probably say um, Jemai Aiko, you know, because I don't know, I was a big fan of her music. Still, I'm a big fan of all, all music like Sailed Out and stuff like that. One time I actually tweeted her about her EP. I went to, like, I asked her a question about the EP and then. She responded to me and I was on Twitter, I was so, I was so happy. <laughs> so I'll probably say her, you know. What is your all-time favourite song? Yo, oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably say 50 Cent. Hustler's Ambition or... Acorn locked up. Fifty cent hustler's ambition is you know you just want to hustle like gets you in, in that hustling mood where you just you want to graft and so yeah them two I'll say favorite rapper and singer ah oh, no this is a tough one I was so everyone knows I have so many different types of favorite rappers I wouldn't I wouldn't say one it's really difficult to say. Um, but I was, like I said earlier, the favourite rapper that's touched me the most, that's impacted me the most, I would definitely say Loki, that the person I met, the rapper that I met in the UK. I would definitely say him as favourite rapper, but singer, that's a tough one as well. I don't know, I don't have a favourite singer to be honest. I just five with different ones, but... How many countries have you been to? Alright, so I've been to... 14 different countries um, Yeah, that's crazy Like, I just love traveling so hopefully I get to go to more countries Mostly traveled in Europe though Been to Two countries in Asia Yes, yeah, so the continent I need to Actually go to is Latin America Australasia And Africa Those three I haven't, I haven't touched down so them continents, so I need to definitely go to countries within them continents. Our favorite place you visited? That's a tough one. There's three, three of my favorite places that I visited. I'll just go top three. First, I'll say Lisbon. That's an underrated country, under, underrated um city. You know, people are starting to clock now that a lot of people are starting to go there. The one thing I like about Lisbon is just the. Uh, it's just a historical city, so it's got all the buildings are like coloured and old, and there's a lot of nature there as well. Sintra is beautiful outside of Lisbon, and yeah, it's got beaches and stuff like that, so it's beautiful, beautiful city. And Istanbul as well, Istanbul is another nice city. I went there, I've been there, and even Barcelona, I love Barcelona as well, so. <laughs> Someone asked me, can you dig your elbow? <laughs> oh, do, you me, do you want me to try it now? Uh, <laughs> that's a bit of a random question, but... Nah, I don't, think I, I don't think I can lick my elbow. Do you like cartoons? Yeah, I love cartoons, you know. I used to watch them all the time when I was a kid. I remember one night... I pretended to my mum and everyone that I was sleeping and then... I just came downstairs the whole night and watch cartoons till 6 in the morning and then my mum came downstairs and saw me up bearing in mind that I was probably like 
six or seven at the time, so <laughs> there was my mom was just like shouting at me, like, what are you doing there? <laughs> but it makes me laugh. Someone said pizza or burger. Definitely pizza, Italian style pizza with like aubergine and stuff on it. You can't you can't beat that. So definitely pizza. Definitely pizza. If you won the lottery, what would you do? What I would do is I would invest in the money for different things and just go travelling with people that I love the most, my friends and family and just chill, get some properties in different islands, different places around the world. Sounds like a plan. Which superhero power would you want to have? Definitely teleport, you know. I would love to teleport, you know. But that would just be chilling. That would be a vibe. When is your birthday or what? what is your birthday? My birthday is on the 21st of March. And, um, yeah, I think it's a perfect time to have a birthday. Spring. First day of spring and then obviously it gets you in the mood and the vibe for summer so yeah I think it's a perfect birthday so I'm blessed in a way. What is your favourite colour? The people that know me I love the colour green especially khaki green so I just love wearing that especially with clothes I always wear a lot of khaki as well. Do you have a lot of life motto? Life motto yeah, to be honest, I don't really have a mo my, 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 my motto is um, yeah, just stay relaxed and enjoy life. Don't think, don't take things uh, too deeply because we're all, you know, we're all not destined for tomorrow. So it's good to have that relaxed vibe. Obviously, take things seriously, but the main thing is to enjoy yourself, especially when you're young as well. What made you start this channel? Well. I made actually made a YouTube account in December uh, 2019 actually, 2019 because if you know I'm into photography and stuff like that I have my own uh, Instagram page as well so I wanted to create a channel with me going to different places and doing videos but unfortunately I got too lazy and then when the coronavirus came, when it first happened in lockdown I actually met a friend of mine uh, that is a good friend of mine now on an app called House Party and we ended up started talking and he said he had a YouTube channel he saw a few of my clips that I took in um, in Barcelona and he was like you should just up upload this video on YouTube and then he helped me out because I didn't have my laptop I couldn't edit and I learned how to edit and everything myself so that's the reason why I started this channel but another reason why I wanted to start the channel is to do different videos for example like reaction videos travel videos, vlogs, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the reason why I started this channel, like to connect with global audiences since I love traveling and love cultures, meeting new people, especially because I studied um, politics and international relations at university. So that's the reason why I wanted to start this channel. What is the best comment you have ever received? To be honest with you, I don't have a best ever comment, but all the comments I receive from you guys, all the supporters every day, even though I don't reply to all of them, there's so many sometimes, I try to reply as much as I can. All the, all the comments that I get, they're all the best in my opinion, you know. I don't have a least or best favourite comment. Who is your favourite YouTuber? That is a tough one, man. There's a few people that I watch. Um, Drew Binsky, he's been to like almost all the countries in the world. And then this guy called um, Indigo Traveller. There's a few other guys as well that just travel around and explore different countries. So I like that sort of stuff. So I don't have a favourite one. But, but some people would say, Who's your favourite YouTuber? <laughs> if I was too egotistical, I would have said myself. Obviously, some people will say to self because it's good to be, you know, it's good to value yourself, especially if you want to see yourself grow. So 
I will say myself as well because that's the only reason why I'm doing this. Obviously to grow and elevate. Obviously I'm doing this for enjoyment, but you know if I can see results and growth within YouTube, then I will say myself as well. What is your least favorite thing about making these videos? Oh man, the last few days I've had an issue with Final Cut Pro editing, moving slow, getting stuck. That is my least part. It's people don't realize how much it takes to edit and stuff like that. Especially when you know the system is down, the program is down. It can take a few hours, but you have to stay patient and just think about the end result when you drop the videos. How long does it take to edit a video? Um, it depends on the type of video to be honest. Um, if, if a video is a short clip, like 3 or 4 minutes, and it won't take too long. It depends. Like If you're trying to do a video, for example, like a travel video, or like you're shooting a music video or something like that, then obviously you have to colour code and stuff like colour grade and stuff like that. But I'll say on average it takes like half an hour to an hour me or well, like I said it all depends on how the video is also how are you acting on your responsibility of stewardship in relation to your subscribers 2k fire emoji well ha that's a good question actually on responsibility of stewardship in relation to your subscribers when every video I always thank my subscribers and I always you know um, integrate with them in my in my comments I always uh, talk to them Sometimes they even mess some a few of them message me on Instagram, we talk in there. But since the channel is growing now at a healthy rate, I wanna start doing videos, I mean uh, giveaways in the future. Especially since I'm into photography and stuff, like I'm gonna do a giveaway give away some film cameras or like film and stuff like that. That would be good actually. Like give away to the community of the people that have been supporting me so far. So yeah, I'll say you know, try and give back to the community more YouTube community which I'll start which I'll start doing soon. I'm gonna have to take things seriously now because I'm on two K. It wouldn't be possible without you guys supporting me. So anyways guys, that's the end of the questions for today. Hope you enjoyed them and I hope you you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll get to do more in the future. So yeah guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment down below, like today's video and that's it guys. Peace.